I love page 17 because we've done almost all of these skills. Back on page 9, 10, 11, and 12, we learned these notes, but those notes were just floating in air. On page 17 of Strictly Strings, we get to do the same notes, but on the staff, with the bow. Does it get any better? I don't know, maybe, but it's pretty great. So here is page 17, number one. Now what do we need to know before we start? A couple of things. Let's review, shall we? Take a look at the box on top of page 17. It'll show you a diagram of where your fingers are about to be placed. On this page, we are reviewing D, first finger E, and F sharp. So take a look, violins and violas. We have our fingertips on the fingerboard. Our first finger makes a square, and then our second finger is about an inch away from that first finger to play a beautiful, incredible F sharp. These three notes, D, E, and F sharp, are the gateway to success on page 17. So let's go to our cello friends. Cellists, you'll be doing open D. First finger E, notice I'm on the tip of my finger, and then boom, third finger F sharp. Notice all three fingers are down. Also notice my thumb is under my second finger. The thumb, aka the chaperone, stays with the second finger. We don't want him to get in any trouble. All right, bases, your turn. Again, your base is 12,000 feet tall, which means your fingerings are always different. We have open D, first finger E, and then fourth finger F sharp. You have to reach with your hands, get all the way up to fourth finger F sharp, making sure you're still on the tip of your finger by having your arm up and over as you pull the bass in to your body. Now, if you need to review the notes on the D and the A string, we have YouTube videos for that. Check out the left hand, the D string, or the left hand, the A string. And I go step by step with each instrument to show you where to put your fingers. Alrighty. Well, shall we begin? Yeah! You got it. Page 17, number one. You're gonna get used to the drill. We're gonna say the notes before we play them so we get used to seeing them on the staff. Then we're gonna air bow it because we wanna make sure we have the rhythm in our arm. Then we're gonna do pizzicato so we can focus on placing our fingers in the correct spot without having to worry about all this craziness up in here. Just focus on the left hand. And then finally, we put it all together. With every page, it's up to you on how fast you want to go. If you want to say the note names over and over and over again, terrific. If you want an air bow over and over and over again, terrific. If you need more tries just doing pizzicato, sure, makes sense. And if you're ready, put it all together. But please, only put things together when you can do the other steps really, really well. Once you put it together, typically everything starts to struggle a little bit. So we wanna make sure that left hand is great, that right hand is great, and then we put the skills together. All right, here we go, rock stars. This is page 17, number one. Let's say it. One, two, say it, and D. Repeat if necessary. Air bow. Check the pinky. Check the first finger. Is everything relaxed? Is your thumb curved? Are your fingers covering the frog? Here we go. Air bow. Page 17. Number one. One, two, ready. A. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest. 
Rest. Pizzicato. Remember, this is not open E. For basses, open E would be way lower on the staff. For violins, it would be way, way higher on the staff. This is good old fashioned first finger E. So get your instruments ready. We start on open D and then push. First finger E and then push. F sharp. Ready? I am one, two, ready, and D, D, first finger, E, B, B, get ready, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, get ready, D, 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 and E, D, B, D, B, D, D, E, then F sharp. Necessary. However, let's go ahead and join number two. There are half notes and lifts? Oh my gosh, it must be getting ready for a very special song. I bet we'll see it later on this page. Here we are, page 17. Number two. First, let's say it. One, two, ready, and action. However, we have to now say note names and manage half notes and lift the bow. Are you ready? Well, here we go. One, two, ready, and face. I'm lifting to the frog right in front of my face. Okay, let's build a bear. I'm <laughs> sorry, I mean build a left hand. Put your instruments up like you're gonna do pizzicato. Get your hand ready for F sharp. Get your hand ready for F sharp. That's what it means to prepare your fingers. All right, here we go. Pizzicato, page 17, number two. One, two, this is F sharp. F sharp. Notice when we're playing half notes, my bow doesn't stop until left. 
we lift our bow. So here we go. Last one, kids. Page 17, number two, with the bow. One, two, one, two. Get ready, because here comes number four. And I think we've understood the process by which we should do each of these exercises. First, we say the note name. Second, we air bow. Third, pizzicato. And fourth time around, put it all together. Bow, note reading, all of it. You can do it. Remember that process. That said, here on out, I will play each exercise four times without stopping. That way you can repeat as many times as you need while you practice. So let's look at page 17, number four. I recommend follow the four steps, say it, air bow it, pizzicato, and then play as written. Here we are, page 17, number four. One, two, say it first. series, you played this way back on page 9 with the floating notes, but that was before the bow. That was also before half notes. Something very important to remember with hot cross buns is these half notes mean that our bow never stops moving. Don't stop moving. Keep your bow moving. It looks like this. F sharp e, D. Notice my arm never stopped moving. Then we lift back to the frog, same thing. F sharp, E, D. Never stop moving. <clears throat> lift. D, 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 E, 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 
Efshar Yidi. Lift and repeat. So here we go. You can say the known names. Great. You can pizzicato the known names. Cool. You can just airbow if you want to feel the rhythm in your arm. Or you can put it all together. If you feel, you could do all of those components separately at an incredibly high level. All right. Instruments up. One, two, ready, and up. Action. six, it's essentially the same as number five. However, we get rid of the half notes and we have to roll over to open A. Other than that, same notes. Let's say the note names for page 17, number six, merrily we roll along. One, two, say it, and Just pizzicato. Make sure you are on the tip of your finger. Here we are. Merrily we roll along. Pizzicato. Instruments up. Feet seat. Shoulders open. Superhero pose. Page 17, number 6. One, two, ready, and. the lift in measure four. F sharp, A, A, lift. F sharp, A, A, lift. F sharp, A, A, lift. That way you can get that skill comfortably in your shoulder so that when you get to it in the music you don't have to slow down and figure out what you have to do physically with your arm in that measure. Once that's figured out, Ladies and gentlemen, with the instrument, with the bow, feet flat, instruments up, nice and tall, added bonus, eyebrows up, page 17, number six, one.
And if you could play that with just a piano accompaniment, without me saying the note names, without me dictating the rhythm as you played, you have mastered the concept of the quarter note, the concept of the half note, the concept of lifting and reading these notes on the page. If you haven't mastered those ideas yet, I recommend going to the beginning of the video and working through the entire page again. Daily correct practice is the way to go. And once you finish page 17 and you feel like, yes, I've mastered this page, then go to the next video and find page 18, where we discover a new note on the staff. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for stopping by. You have yourself a fantastic day. And remember, if you practice every day, by the end of the year, you'll be taller. <laughs>